Good day, Tages community, and welcome to another episode of Tages Tips. I'm Jim Kaufman, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer, and today we're going to review a recent feature enhancement to the Tages portal that focuses on providing valuable metrics on your security posture. This new security posture dashboard helps your organization track your security event pipeline, including the number of events, critical and high alerts, open investigations, and confirmed security incidents, your license utilization number, the number of alerts per endpoint, tracking the number of confirmed security threats, all compared to industry averages, investigation response metrics, including mean time to acknowledge and mean time to respond, as compared to industry averages, a visual summary of your sensor coverage across cloud, email, endpoint, and network security controls, and updates created by SecureWorks Counter Threat Unit to the Tages countermeasures, which are mapped to the MITRE ATT&CK framework. To access this enhanced dashboard, simply open the dashboard's left side navigation menu and select Security Posture. Change the date range of all widgets at the same time by using the drop down date range selector at the top right of the dashboard. Choose from the last 7, 30, or 90 days. The most recent date range selected becomes the new default. Several widgets, including the alerts per endpoint, license utilization, investigation response, and confirmed security threats, provide metrics that compare your organization to SecureWorks customers within an industry sector of your choice, as well as to all SecureWorks customers within all industries. To select an industry sector, use the Comparison Industry dropdown at the top left of the dashboard. Affected dashboard widgets are automatically updated as you change the industry. The Event Pipeline widget depicts various stages of event filtering for the selected date range. Refer to this widget as a snapshot of how ingested events are being triaged and handled. The pipeline includes the following metrics. Events, the number of raw events received from all sensor types during the selected time period. High and critical alerts, this is the number of high and critical severity alerts that were triggered from those events. Open investigation, the number of investigations that are currently in an open state. And confirmed security threats, which reflects the number of investigations that were resolved in the selected time period with a threat mitigated or confirmed security incident status. Each metric also includes a percentage, which compares the current date range being viewed to the previous date range. The Alerts Per Endpoint widget is a bar chart displaying the sum of high and critical severity alerts divided by the number of active endpoints. Use this widget to gauge the activity in your environment, including how your rule sets are configured. You can compare your organization's count to your selected industry and all industries of customers reporting into Tagus XDR. The License Utilization widget displays the percentage of devices actively reporting into Tagus XDR relative to the number of licenses you have. Use this metric to determine if you are under or over utilizing your current Tagus XDR licenses. Again, you can compare your organization's percentage across industry averages. The Investigation Response widget displays the average time taken to respond to and resolve an investigation. Use this widget to evaluate how efficient your investigation handling is. There are two columns of metrics. The mean time to acknowledge is the mean amount of time from when an investigation is set to awaiting action to when it is reviewed by an analyst. And mean time to resolve. This is the mean amount of time from when an investigation is set to awaiting action to when it is closed. And industry averages are also reflected in this widget. The sensor coverage widget provides a snapshot of which of your sensors are reporting into Tagus XDR successfully for the selected date range. Use this widget to quickly identify where device health may need review. It's broken down according to four sensor types, cloud, email, endpoint, and network. The confirmed security threats widget is a line chart displaying the number of investigations that were closed during the selected date range with a threat mitigated or confirmed security incident status. Hover over the line chart to view metrics for specific dates on the timeline and you can use this widget to evaluate if you are experiencing more or fewer security incidents than is typical across industry averages. 
The Tages Countermeasure Update widget displays a table of all updates to alert detection rules made by the SecureWorks Counter Threat Unit during the selected time period in order of most recent. The MITRE ATT&CK framework tactics targeted by the countermeasures are listed in the table. Select the name of the detection rule to view additional information like severity, techniques, and description. Use this widget to stay up to date on our latest efforts to protect your organization from threats. We hope the Security Posture Dashboard will be a valuable tool in your ongoing effort to maintain situational awareness of your security posture. Thanks for watching and have a great day.